So, CJ, to celebrate us moving on to the letter F, I was thinking we could do something a bit different, and you should guess the name of this film through a game of charades. I am very good at this game. All right, here we go. Two words. First word. Thinking. Take it seriously. Gay. Okay. Cold. Almost begins with F, though, remember? Fold. Frozen. Yes! Told you that was good. Next word. Me when there's no treats left. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a video nasties review. <laughs> and today, it's a spicy look at Frozen Scream. Does she slip? What even is this? It's a very long box. It's almost like it's a DVD. <laughs> This time we follow doctor and university professor Lil Stanhope as she and her associate will stop at nothing to prove the theory of immortality. Come on guys, if we're on poolside, remember no heavy petting and no diving. You don't want to annoy the lifeguard, he's a weirdo. Oh my god, what have you done now? In his defence, the rules are pretty clearly stated on the bulletin board by the showers. I told her to put sun cream on, but she wouldn't listen. Tom, darling, it's me again. Yes, I'll be home in a while. The fog is very thick out here, and it's kind of slowed me down. Damn it, Anne. No, no, don't be like that with her. She's keeping you informed of where she is. She's driving safely. I mean, you know, let's have a look what it's like where she is. Wow, that fog is so thick, I'm surprised you found the phone booth. I love you. You don't even know me. Day. Time to pay your dues. The hell was that? Has anybody seen Keith? We're meant to be going trick or treating in a minute. This will only take a second, Tom. Ah! I mean, there's a right way and a wrong way to administer the flu jab. But I know what I saw, and I know I didn't make it up. My name's Sergeant McGuire. Jesus! Who the hell are you? I'm a cop. Oh, right. Our experiments are on the order of mental concepts only. Completely free of drugs, including cigarettes and alcohol. A pretty bad acting job, I'd say. You said it. I'm too fond of your company in my bedroom. Sometimes I really don't know what I see in your bed. Blimey, I bet their dirty talk is absolute filth. Tis. Tom, why are you dressed like that? Now that is a surprising insight into her priorities because I would ask, who the fuck is she and who invited death? Oh, I know he looks rough, but there's no need to knock his confidence by screaming in his face. Boo! <laughs> You're a little anxious about going home, aren't you? Yeah, there's something about being alone at the scene of my husband's death that's really getting to me. That's normal. Is it? Bloody hell, she's got a hell of a throw. Oh. And I'm cold, help me, I'm so cold. You can use Keith's shawl, He's, he won't need it anymore. Have you ever noticed how cold Catherine is? She's like walking ice. No, I can't say I've ever noticed that. Yeah, well, by the look of it, it's her own fault. Cover your eyes, Lil. Tell me your sins, my son. Yes, father. I, uh... I cracked one off earlier when that lass had her tits out. Do you want to tell me exactly what's on your mind? All right, you want to get fucking chippy, do you? <laughs> Bloody hell, you scared me there. For a second, you looked like a man. Not, not like a man, like, like me dead husband. I mean, not me dead husband. I'll, uh, I'll shut up. I'm frightened, then. About what? What we are doing is wrong. We are interfering with nature. Any excuse not to take it up the arse. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Lil, I was only joking. Love? If you ask me about love... Oh, piss off, Maguire! Ours was the kind that would go on forever. You should have said if you were thirsty, I've got a Brita filter in the fridge. But then out of the hospital, I followed her to school. Nuts! Where were you? I was in the kitchen. Where you belong. No, but seriously, I mean, you can say what you like about this film, but it is very ahead of its time when it comes to its gender politics. All men must die. See? We can live forever. 
and that leaves plenty of time for messing around. Oh, Kevin, you startled me. Ah. Thanks. Hello? Hello, is that Baby Station? Do you mind if we talk? No, go ahead. Have a good time. She could put a bit of fucking effort into it, couldn't she? The thing that seemed to upset Tom most was that when the rats recovered, their personalities were altered, diffused, almost soulless. Where is the cheese? Oh, a cat. Please eat me. And it's only the window cleaner. There you are, mate. Your hand. It was cold as ice. Like death. I never stop being surprised at this woman's range. We've had oak, we've had sycamore, we've had beech. I feel very close. Yeah, you are. Your front door was jammed. Yeah, well, I was nervous. Oh, no. smell something. Ah, a copyright claim. Do you see the man in the window? Yeah, spooky, isn't he? Yeah, me too. Keep away from him. There's always one person who goes a step too far to show off, isn't there? Speaking of showing off, have we, have we had a surprise appearance from the gimp yet? There he is. I didn't expect that walking to be festering the way it is. Yeah, sorry, love, move out the fucking way, will you? That's a fire exit. Who are you? An evil monk. We've been through this. Fucking <laughs> settle down, love. Stop. Right there, Kirk. I so wish she'd been cast in Star Trek. See on your forehead, Kirk. That's right. It's hot in here. Sexy Star Trek. But you are burning. Because you are in hell. No, that's not what I heard. The hell is very cold and lonely. See, it's little inconsistencies like that that give me the impression that maybe they didn't think this through. I'm sorry we had to abduct you. Don't worry about it. I won't be one of your zombies. But you will. Oh, yeah, my, my mistake. My head is in the shed today. Carry on. The chill factor. No, no, this is Frozen Scream. I think you're getting confused. We were worried about you for a while. You mean a while? A while. I mean, there's a right and a wrong way to administer the flu jab. Three out of ten. Occasionally atmospheric and a fun enough time, but it's by no means a good film.